Hello. Haven't made a video in a while. Smoke break. Um, so, I uh, guess the uh, debate, first debate's over. Um, it was quite the slobber knocker. Uh, let's see. I think, uh, I think Trump came out, did what he needed to do to, uh, he gave a strong performance. Um, especially on the, on trade and the economy, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, I'm not even, like, I don't even know what her rebuttal was. I didn't think it really made much, uh, much sense. Um, her rebuttal was like, uh, well, we need to trade with people and which is, which is like, well, I don't, Donald isn't saying don't trade with people. He was saying don't make fucking stupid deals. So, I thought that was her, her one of her weakest moments. Uh, we saw a uh, more um, reserved Donald Trump. Uh, he, he's getting the uh, advice from a lot of uh, conservative politicos in his campaign uh, because they weren't sure how it would look if he went after Hillary Clinton like he went after Jeb Bush. Uh, because she's a woman, because people will be like, here, bullying a woman. She's a fucking mass murderer, but you're bullying her. Don't bully women. You're saying things that prove her incorrect, and she's a woman, so you don't want to be mean. Don't say mean things, Donald. So, and it didn't help anyway, because at the end of the debate, when uh, she realized she failed to really get under his skin too much, um... She she played the, the, the woman card uh, at the very end where, like, half the shit he says about women like, is about, like, two or three chicks that fucking pissed him off. Like, like uh, and probably about 80% of it is fucking Rosie O'Donnell. So, I never really got, the, got this whole thing. And, I don't know, liberals won't change their mind. People that are voting for Hillary Clinton will not change their mind uh, and vote for Donald Trump. She, I, a video of her could come out where she has a fucking cleaver or something, or fucking a giant fucking kitchen knife like in uh, the Halloween movies with uh, Mike Myers, and he, she just fucking stabs some fucking 13-year-old right through the skull, murdering him instantly, and they'd be like, that's probably doctored. I'm with her. <laughs> like, so it's uh, another uh, thing that kind of I find interesting is the, as uh, they're playing the flip-flop, the flip-flop card on Donald Trump with the war in Iraq, where he was against the war at the beginning because he said it would destabilize the area. Neil Cavu on Fox just played an interview with Donald Trump in 2003 about going to war in Iraq, and he was against it. And then they're like, well, he flip-flopped because he, he didn't want to leave. And I'm like, and it's like, well, what he's saying is since you're there already, uh, if you just leave... These, there's going to be a bunch of people that fill the vacuum that fucking hate America's guts and are going to try to kill people. And American interests. Okay, that's what he was saying. So, what he wanted to do, in a pragmatic way, because he's a pragmatist, that's what Donald Trump is. Donald Trump is not a constitutionalist conservative. He's a pragmatist. That's what he is. So what he wanted to do was he was saying, you guys got to take the fucking way they make money to arm themselves, which is selling oil on the black market, and fucking take it from them, and tell them to go fuck themselves. That's what, his, that's, that's what he wanted to do. And what he gets is, you're a flip-flopper. Oh, do you have the temperament, Donald? Oh, and that's another weird argument. Does he have the temperament? Does, does Hillary Clinton have the fucking temperament? My God. I came... But we came, we saw he died fucking in Libya with uh, Gaddafi, who really wasn't doing all that much to us. I mean, uh, and if you go, go look at it, really, uh, <laughs> we pretty much killed him because he wanted to go on his old gold currency and uh, start like an African currency. And he was actually working with the West for like two years, and he wanted to uh, surrender and moved to France or some shit 
after a while, and they're like, no, we're just going to kill you. We're going to arm these fucking uh, Muslim extremists, and they're going to fucking stick an AK-47 up your ass, kill you, and fucking ruin your whole entire country. But, he treated women badly, so it's okay. Suppo supposedly, he treated women badly. That's what the, uh, the former uh, monarch came out uh, and said, that she was treated badly by uh, Gaddafi, her family. Um, if you don't know, Gaddafi uh, was like 14, raised an army, and fucking took over Libya and from, a, from a monarchy. And the lady that came out uh, in this propaganda thing years ago, uh, I was in 2010 or something, was part of the monarchy family. And that's the whole he treats women badly thing, okay? So that's probably bullshit. I mean, he could have, I don't know. But let's be honest, she had a, uh, a definite motive to, to lie and propagate an untruth to uh, get Americans behind uh, taking out Gaddafi, the man that lived in a tent. So, my estimation, if it was like a UFC fight and we split it up into five rounds, I say Donald Trump uh, won probably in a, in a, let's see, I think he won the first round, I think he won the second round, I don't think he won the third round, or the fourth round, but I think he won the fifth round. So, I think he won on points. Some other people think that Hillary won on points, but if you look at the uh, snap polls after, it was pretty clear that a lot of people saw, uh, saw Donald Trump winning. Uh, even on CNN, CNBC for a while, it was like 54%, and then I think it ended up being 51% for Trump. Uh, Fortune Magazine was 51% for Trump, but they had four other polls where you could scroll through, and on the economy, he was way ahead. On security, he was way ahead. And I think, like, the only one he lost, no, the, no, he won that too. Vision for America, he won by 51%. So, my cigarette's almost gone. It's been smoke break. Got two more debates. Donald Trump is surging. Um, the pragmatist. I don't agree on some of his shit with, that has to do with uh, stop and frisk, because I'm a fucking constitutional libertarian. So I don't, I, I'm not down with that. But his idea is that it will pragmatically stop the murders in Chicago. Could he be right? Possibly. Um, he had stats and all this other shit with New York than having that work. But uh, I disagree with it. I don't like it. But to be honest with you, since Rand Paul was out and he was my dude, he was pretty much out and he never really got going, uh... I'd say I agree with Trump price 70, like three quarters of the time, maybe a little less than three quarters of the time, where I disagree with Clinton about 90% of the time. So, uh, and Gary Johnson is apparently being paid to make the Libertarian Party look like a bunch of fucking idiots. Um, so I guess he's out. Jill Stein isn't going to be allowed in there because she's going to uh, be a stalking horse and take away... Uh, Hillary votes, so she's not going to get any attention from the media. The only people that are going to get attention is fucking dumbass Gary Johnson, uh, who doesn't fucking know anything about Aleppo, apparently. I think he does. Like I said, I think there's something shady going on with the LP. I think there's something shady going on with Gary Johnson. I think he's being paid, like, to make the Libertarian Party look stupid and to take votes away for Trump. Um, so, Libertarian Party, next time, don't compromise your fucking principles and get yourself, like, a real libertarian candidate, okay? Please? 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 It's been smoke break. Have a good one.